Hello viewers, welcome to another lovely episode on Talk with Pamela. I am your host, Pamela Agboma Ogotchikolo of Formula Robinson. Don't forget that. And here I am. I know I look so unprepared. I am so sorry. I apologize. But I came here with a friend to see another friend who is into this farming. His name is Bolu. He's going to give us information and insights on how this were able to come about. Please, welcome Bolu. 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 Yeah, I'm going to ask you some insightful questions concerning this farming. What's the name of your farm? Mefkins Integrated Farms. Mefkins yeah, Integrated Farms. farms. Yeah. How did you come about it? Or how did your parents come about it? Okay, okay. it actually started from my mom. Okay. She was the, the mind behind everything. So how's the breeding procedures for this, your um, like catfish? To start from the toddling stage down to their mature age. Okay, age. we have different stages. We have the, the fingerlings, we have the fries, we have the posts. We have the juvenile, we have the post fry, and we now have the melange. We have the melange and we have the grouts. Those are the biggest. The melange is second to the biggest. Okay. The post, the um, juvenile are the ones in for the melange. Okay. And we now have the post, we now have the fingerlings, we now have the fries, we now have the post fry. So, um, what do you feed them depending on their growth stage? You know, you have from the toddler, the juvenile. Do they have specific feeds that they have that they take in? Yes. to enhance their growth or you can as equally give them everything the same feed no you can't give them everything you can't, okay. just, you can't just give them what you can't give the younger ones what the big ones eat you can't give the big ones what the young ones eat okay you have different formulas for different stages of their growth okay like now for the big ones now they're already big already so we don't need them to really grow that much okay. so what we give them is just food to make them have weight but All we right. sell weight we don't sell size in fish we sell weight okay. so we have to give them food to make them um, increase in size. Okay. Why for the small ones? They actually add protein, more protein to that food, so they can actually increase in size. So we won't be selling fish that look small, but are yeah. looking heavy. Oh. So, it's, it's... so please, where is this farm located? Okay. Um, Rafat, Lawa Close, Olayemi Tela, Ayobo. So if you are coming from Ayobo, you can just come through Ipaja. Okay. So that's, that's just so it's, it's very easy. If you just get to Olayemi, just tell me I'm going to. At least the event center, opposite the event center, will come and pick you there. Come good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you, ma. Mom, please, I heard you were the brain behind this. You've always wanted to go into farming while you were still young, and finally you achieved your dream. Like, how, how, was, it, how was it for you? The journey so far, how was it for you? Uh, when you say God is behind everything, because on our own, there is nothing we can do. Yes, ma'am. I am an accountant by profession. Wow. After you know, after so many years of working for somebody, yes. you know, I used I have once worked as a banker. Okay. Then after I work with a company okay. to cross um, Canvas Nigeria Limited. Then as an accountant too. Then oh, okay. you know, after you know, going through series of problems there and there and then, I discovered that most especially for ladies, there is nothing like being self-employed. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes. You know, you need to take care of your family, That's the children, true. and all those things. So, I, I thought of what to do. I said, let me just go. I have always wanted to be a farmer. Even as a copper, I remember then, when I was serving with Central Bank of Nigeria, then, I was into fishing. You know, I buy fish, I portioned it, said to my bosses then, that was back then. Wow. But later, I found myself coming back to this same fish. I said, well, maybe it is a good way for me. Exactly. So that was how it started. It started at the back of the house. It started oh. there, then later, yeah, we had to go. Oh, to the well, of that's court. nice. So, Mom, please, do you um, accept recruits? Do you train people on how to go about fish farming? Yes, we do. Is there a duration for the training for them? It all depends on the aspect the person wants to do. Okay. Because we have the action, okay. which has to do with, you know, the smaller ones. Okay. Breeding of the smaller ones, okay. then we go to this grow out. Then there, is, there are different stages that depends okay. on the person's interest. And there's every satisfaction that he or she is going to get in certificate De from here. Definitely. So, you guys, you earn uh, mommy is going to give you a certificate from what was the name of the farm again? Met King's Integrated Farm. Okay. So, if you're interested, viewers, please kindly go through the address on the link. You'll see the address down there. Click to it, come through, and you are going to meet this wonderful woman. So, guys, please don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Thank you for watching. I am your host, Pamela, and I talk for a living. Mwah!